Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner. I am doing a numerology for the 9th of April, 2023. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 20. And if you add the two and the zero together, you get the number two. In numerology, the number two might feel a bit like a downer. This is a number of the mind and it will pull us into overthinking. And when that happens, often the feeling of flow will go away. I like the synchronicity of spontaneous movement in my life, and I have learned that while the mind is an effective tool to navigate this linear world, it is not a creative place to hang out for too long because it uses fear in suffocating ways and pulls us down more than it lifts us up. Try to not let the mind make any big decisions from a place of irritation or impatience. Rushing is not going to get us there faster. With this number two, know that it, this is a number that likes to promote obedience, but one should never obey rules or laws if their intention is to harm one group to line the pockets of another. Mankind makes laws that are too often self-serving and do not have the greater good in mind as they are doing them. Today is a day to speak up and loudly show where you will not buy into the patterns that government intend to cause suffering and where some groups intend to pull humanity back down rather than lift them up. Today, look to see where we might need to expand our viewpoints and attempt to understand the needs of those suffering the most. The truth will always show itself in inconsistencies of others, especially when any group wants to paint themselves over as better than because of external situations that are biased and prejudicial. When we fight for the truth, we must be willing to not be blind to the information that is clearly right in front of us. Use the number two in inside each of us today to reveal and expand our knowing intelligence and mind. Notice one's own critical mind, judgmental side, and those places that we will negate others. And then shift out of that neg negativity and instead say something kind and nice. Thanks, everyone.